Hey people, John V here from Phone Arena. I have the Samsung Galaxy Note LTE, the uh, AT&T version that's going to be available shortly. You're going to run a couple, a few different benchmark tests, show you the performance out of the box. It's powered by a dual-core 1.5 GHz Qualcomm Snapdragon processor. It's coupled with uh, 1 GB of RAM. Now out of the box, you can tell here, just navigating across the home screen with the static wallpaper, pretty fluid, and it's able to track our finger here pretty tightly between the home screens. Other basic tasks, you can go going through the app panel, launching an application, pretty instantaneous there. And other things like uh, pinch gestures, take a look. It's pretty smooth and responsive, so very nice, very quick response overall. So let's uh, test it out further with the uh, live wallpaper. We'll see how it handles that. Something a little bit more processor intensive. Normally we see some sluggishness uh, with a uh, live wallpaper usage here. Let's take a look here. So here it is. And we can already tell just some choppiness with its movement. It's not as quick in tracking our finger. You could see that already. It's a little bit laggy here, but it's not to the point terrible, but very it's uh, very prominent. So let's uh, let's bring it back to a static wallpaper and let's check out, let's compare again one more time the difference between performance. So let's do a live uh, standard wallpaper. Let's set that and hit save. Then we'll take a look here. And if we navigate again, a lot better movement. You could tell it tracks our finger very nice. So a big difference in performance. Again, it goes to show that a lot of wallpapers are processor intensive uh, you know, task here for the handset. So let's start off with our first test here, which is Quadrant. We've ran a few times. We managed to get we ranges between 2200 to as much as 2900 on Quadrant. I'm just going to run this here for you so you can take a look. Now uh, those scores that range, you know, it's nothing stellar. They're they're pretty decent. You know, a lot better than some other handsets out there, but not to the point. You know, not nowhere still close to the uh, numbers put out by by the Galaxy S2, the Galaxy Nexus, easily over 3000. So let's see if we get at least close to the 3000 mark on, on this test here. Now we've updated the Quadrant application. It's uh, the uh, version 2.0, just for, your, for, just for your information there. And um, aside from that, you know, uh, we're pretty happy with the overall speed of the handset. Of course, it's going to ultimately come down to the real world usage, how you experience the handset that's going to ultimately say whether or not it is fast or slow. But just based on these uh, graphical tests here, like this one here, roughly around 30 frames per second. It's decent. It's nice. It's it's smooth for the most part. Not that much choppiness. The next one here, it's going to start running. It's moving at a rate of, on the average, 40, 50, around close to the 50 frames per second mark. So not bad. And the last test here, it's running on the average, roughly 30, same between 22 and 27, probably get up to 30 at some point. So let's take a look and see what it gives us this time. So this time it gave us 2478, so in between that range we, which we mentioned. So nothing stellar. Uh, you could tell it, it's uh, a little bit better than some of the handsets before at the Galaxy. Well, you could tell the Galaxy Nexus right here, but the Galaxy S2 uh, with the Exynos chipset uh, seems to fare a lot better uh, with Quadrant. We've also ran the Antutu benchmark. Here, quickly show you the total score. You can see the total score that gave it 60, 64, 49, which is pretty good. And when you put that in the score chart, it actually ranks uh, pretty high on the list here. Uh, it's right here, 64, 49, beats out the Galaxy Nexus and also the international version of the Galaxy Note, as it mentions here, but still pales in comparison to the Transformer Prime, obviously, with its uh, quad core processor. And the last benchmark test, which we'll show you here with enough time, is going to be NeoCore. So you could take a look at its graphical uh, prowess. We uh, on our site you could also find other benchmark tests we ran, like the um, like the uh, Limpack for Android and also uh, Velomo. So let's quickly just run NeoCore here. You can see the uh, the graphics on this handset. Let's turn up the brightness here for you, so you can see. It looks nice even with the smoke effects, good lighting, shading's nice. You can see the neon glow of the robot there, pretty 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 smooth. And 
and should be wrapping up almost done here. So again, some more smoke effects, lighting effects right there, imply. And final score should be roughly 60 frames per second, I assume. 55.2, still admirable, so not that bad at all. So there, you go, so there you go, guys. That's the Samsung Galaxy Note. If you want to learn more about it, check out our website, phonerena.com.